What's up now that I got your attention again? Hey, listen, drivers, drivers from Idaho, this is for you. Drivers from Idaho that recently got their CDLs. You guys might be getting something in the mail. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. So former Idaho CDL skills tester pleads guilty to accepting bribes and is changing for passing scores. So if you went to go and get your CDL and you you probably had a problem or you struggled a little bit and you couldn't you couldn't just get over that hump and you wanted to get a shortcut well this examiner gave you that shortcut all you got to do is bribe them with a little bit of something something and you'll be like yo you got your cdl man but a former worker with the idaho department of transportation is facing about 20 years in prison after pleading guilty to charges related to a cdl testing bribery scheme <sighs> wow it goes on to say a bribe in exchange for passing the CDL skills test score on August 31st, 2021. Goodman was an Idaho CDL skills tester examiner from the 90s until the late 2021. Bro, why you messed up your illustrious career for a few dollars, bro? You 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 thought you wasn't gonna get away with it, man. I I I I, I could tell you right now. I bet you. I, I I I bet you without even reading. I know how he got caught. But let's go. According to authorities, without the knowledge of ITD, Goodman accepted bribes in exchange for passing scores on Idaho CDL skills tests between December 2017 and May 2020. Goodman reportedly received at least 38K in bribes as a part of the CDL skills test scheme. Mm -hmm. Goodman is scheduled for sentencing June 22nd, 2023 and he could face a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison and a 250K fine. Wow, 250K. That's what he has to pay for 38K that he only got just by doing the scheme. The agreement Goodman agreed to pay restitution to the Ohio, I mean, to the Idaho Transportation Department and the U.S. Department of Transportation, and to pay a forfeiture money judgment of at least 38k, meaning that he has to give his money back and pay 250k in fines pay additional restitution to both Idaho Department of Transportation and the U.S. Department of Transportation. All because he wanted to give these non-safe that can't drive for their lives individuals their CDL. 38K, like, bro, how, how much it was... How, how much he was offering like what a couple of thousand but you only made 38k between december 2017 to may 2020 what's that 17 18 19 20 three years but you've been with you you you've been with the examiner since the 90s bro 
a couple of decades. And you threw all of that in the trash for 38K so that somebody that can't drive to get their CDL. That's sad, y'all. That's crazy. I need to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Was you bribed? You know, was you a CDL instructor? And 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 you and, and you gave out CDLs like candy after after you see somebody that that tried to do it but couldn't do it, that had a problem do it, and you felt some kind of way about them and be like, yo, I got you. Hook me up with about $250 and I got you. Was 38K was worth it? Was it worth it? Was it worth throwing away your illustrious career since the 90s? And was it worth you have to have to come out of the pocket even more when you come out of prison? 20 years. Now you might not now they, they just say that he can face it. It doesn't mean that he's going to actually do it. You know, maybe he could probably take another agreement. Maybe he could be on house arrest. Maybe, you know, uh, probation, whatever the case. But in any case, he still has to come out of the pocket of 250K. Along with money to the, to the other Department of Transportation. Was it worth it, sir? I... I... I'm going to honestly say that this wasn't worth it, my guy. This wasn't worth it at all, man. This this was something that, you know, you, you should have thought long and hard. You know, maybe one of those people that you gave, and I'm going to say gave a pass to, get, uh, 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 have them getting their CDLs, I guarantee you they got pulled over. For some odd reason okay i guarantee you they got pulled over and in order for them to get out of their situation they threw you up under the bus it always happens like that it always happens like that all you got to do is watch uh what's that movie dead presidents Well, that dude threw everybody up under the bus. So it's always somebody you know, bro. It's always somebody you know that's gonna throw you up under a bus after you made all that money. Maybe some maybe maybe it wasn't that. Maybe somebody saw the scheme. They probably came to you and be like, yo, let's I, I want a cut of that. And then you was like, well, nah, you know. And then maybe they got in their feelings and then they just reported you. This man had an illustrious career since the 90s, bro. And in 2020, until 2027, until 2017, he was caught, he was charged, he pled guilty. And in 2023, he's gonna be sentenced. Was it all worth it? Who is that DJ like?